Well, Mary Mac will go around to us, that has her in a ogre, it was more the Tridge and I mean, there's a rising going on here right across the country. Uh, one of the strongest turnouts I've ever seen for a Republican event in South and East Belfast, here right in the city centre. Uh, people reflecting on 1916, and what a great privilege to have three of our uh, most noble and honoured families, the Monaghans, uh, the family of Winifred Carney, the Corps, with us, members of those families with us tonight, three families uh, who took part in the rise in 1916. And we're here, really, I suppose, to pledge ourselves to the motto of the Belfast 1916 commemoration, which is a fear in the public, to, I suppose, is realising the dream of uh, the Republic in a united Ireland. And one of the things that gives me great heart tonight is that 10 years ago there was one Sinn Féin representative in Belfast. Tonight we had a real strong team of elected representatives and here's the clincher for me this week, Belfast City Council, the people of Belfast wrote to the Taoiseach and told them to save Moor Street and stop the desecration of that sacred site uh, where the heroes of 1916 made their last stand. So that shows you the changing times, it shows you Belfast determination to make sure that when the story of 1916 is told and the story of 2016, that Belfast part is heard strong, uh, is heard loud right across the country. Well, we're here for the launch of the 2016 commemoration uh, programme for South and East Belfast, a very comprehensive uh, programme that will be added to in the coming weeks and months as we head further into this uh, centenary year. I suppose we have a unique uh, connection and a very, very proud connection in this part of the city with many, many leading historical figures from Belfast who were part of the revolutionary era, both in the run-up to uh, the Easter Rays and during Easter week and indeed in the years that followed, uh, not just during that revolutionary era, but right up until uh, the latest uh, phase of uh, struggle. Bobby Story here tonight uh, made reference also to the 35th anniversary uh, of the hunger strikers uh, in 1981. There are signatories for, for a modern age. And, you know, as diverse as the crowd was here tonight, we had people here from uh, a broader nationalist background, people from a unionist tradition who were here tonight. I think that's very representative of the history of South and East Belfast during the 1916 era, that there was uh, these different narratives, that there was these different views. And I think it's very, very positive that Republic in the city have thrown down the challenge and indeed accepted the challenge uh, to critically engage with our past and to respectfully look at all the strands of our history in an inclusive way, but also to assert our aspiration to an Irish Republic. Uh, the proclamation is a living document. It's something that guides us day and daily in our politics, whether that's in community centres, on sport fields, or in the City Hall, in the Assembly, in Lanster House or in Strasbourg. That's something that we take with us and hold very dear. So if the centenary offers us one thing here in South and East Belfast, it's the opportunity opportunity not only to uh, read the proclamation but to live uh, the proclamation and I think over the next couple of weeks particularly with the announcement of the election in the south that affords us a real Republican uh, alternative and an opportunity for a truly equal, a truly reflective uh, and a truly fair and just society as envisaged uh, in 1916.